Morning, everyone. So we are going to review ETC Warriors lists. Um, I'll probably do orcs as well because there are some really cool orc lists, but that'll be a different video. Um, so ETC this year has, I think, 13 countries. It must have a ringer country, like a nation's one. Um, so, so really, you know, it's not a full ETC. Half of Russia is French people. I know a lot of the top Germans can't go or some of them. So, <laughs> from a high level, uh, the only team that really brought, like, their pure A game seems to be Poland. And maybe Switzerland looks really strong as far as the players are concerned. Like, from who I know is, like, the top players of the country. Um, so, I mean, before we even get into the list, I, I do think that Switzerland or Rock Poland is going to win it, though. Not an asterisk, but really, this isn't a full ETC. It's it's thirteen teams that kind of just have players. Um, though I will say it's probably for the legacy of VTC or for the continuation of VTC next year. It's I, I applaud these players for going because I think, given that there wasn't ETC last year, there needs to be, or at least what I hear around the the word is, there needs to be something this year so that it keeps the we'll say excitement. Um, for next year so you know despite this not being maybe the full fledge obviously there's a lot of teams not here um there are still some interesting lists and i i think one reason i normally wasn't excited for list reviews or list uh being out and i'm a little more excited for etc is in my online events um there really is no incentive other than wanting to try stuff to put like how am i gonna put this to some extent, ETC is like the final goal, right, for a lot of players. So when you go to ETC, you are bringing what you believe in most cases is the best list for you uh, and like your top ideas. Whereas, you know, there's been online events that I've taken lists. I'm like, I just want to try it, see if it works. Um, so there is that little bit of buzz there. You know, I've been watching many of these players play online um, and seeing their lists throughout the tournaments. And now I finally get to say... This is the list they felt was the best for ETC. What is it? Um, and we're going to start with the Warriors list. Um, I believe there's 10 or so. We're just going to scroll through and find them. It's not that hard with this many countries. Um, do, do, do. The first two guys don't even take it. Well, Argentina and Colombia really aren't the prime countries. Um, Denmark. I know Wilhelm has it. So here's a, here's a list right here. So Wilhelm... I'm pretty sure he didn't decide what to take until yesterday. Uh, he was talking to me, and I sent him a list that's not this list. Um, and I think he molded it, because it does have a lot of the same things, and then he took it to what he wanted. And I actually, I think this build is, um, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm actually very excited to see how he does. So um, I think... There's a similar build where you take everything here except this chosen lord becomes a elder, and you have to drop the great weapons here. And the elder, or the ancestor, just has a great weapon, and it fits nicely. But you know, I, the list I sent him had like forsaken ones and stuff. But this, this was the core of it. This is all the same. Um, but you know, it has the herald general, it has a sloth. I mean, I'm really curious how this guy does. He's 610 points. He's, you know. My immediate thought goes to comparing him to the Feldrake ancestor, and the only reason is because the list there's a list I Thomas and I have talked about that has an ancestor in that slot. I'll say quote unquote slot, and yes, you lose the paired weapons on the elders, but you know, and then you got to say, all right, well, he's a fighty guy, and an ancestor is a fighting model. You know, which one's better? One has a rank, one has eight wounds. Um, this guy has a better save. You know, he has he can turn off items. Which is really cool. So I, I don't know which one's better, but any but you also can't fly when you have him on the Herald. But I do like this model. Um, I mean, it's it's a Res six one up save, two up save in combat, five up ward, and he turns off items. Like there's actually not a lot of heroes that fuck with him because you know all these one up save. I mean, besides him just killing one up save guys because he's strength seven a lot of the time. Um, you know. Most of those one-up save builds just straight up, you know, they go to a two-up non-rollable from a one-up rollable because they're going to lose Basalt and lose Dustforge. And, you know, here's hard characters become garbage. Um, he actually just does mess with 
a lot of things out there. I mean, I'm even thinking of, well, he's pretty good. I mean, the Spider King that has the Shield Breaker, he's actually pretty good against. Um, I mean, I could go on. I, I He's actually their unique, mo- like the Sliver Plants, though the two High Elf lists, I think, or the, at least the two good player High Elf lists don't take it. Um, I'm very curious how that guy does. Also, like, he's a piece in an army that can, like, go without him in a weird way. Like, he's, you don't have to have him to win the game. He's just another strong piece you have to deal with. I mean, his army is Herald, two chariot characters, some good core for scoring that can flee, chaffing core. I mean, this core setup, I think, is only uh, rivaled by the triple Lusk setup, and where you have to, and you'll see a list with it, and you'll have to get your chaff otherwise, but. And then, you know, five Chosen Knights is no joke, and then two Elders. I mean, it's a single model, one, two, three, four, five single models, whether it's Chariots or Monsters or the Herald. Three scoring, one being a huge Chosen Knight unit, and two Chaff. I mean, there's no, and a, good, and a decent magic phase for being, you know, two fighty heroes. I really like this list, and I really like this style, and, and honestly, the German list we'll see. Is pretty much the list I'm taking to the next tournament um, because I think it's Th- it's Thomas's list that he gave them. French. What did the French do? So I really like that list. Did the French have it? Yeah, they did. Okay, let's see. So this guy decided to take. Okay, so this is the ancestor I'm talking about with the double herald. Except I don't like. I don't dislike this army. I don't like. I don't really like this so much. Um, this feels like, you know, it's, what is it? It's two chaff pieces, which is fine. I don't know. I No musicians. I get, the, okay. How much did he spend? It's 336, so it's 46. It's 100 points. He dropped that, so it's 200. So he basically dropped some warriors and a chaff piece to get another scoring. That's okay. I can, yeah. I don't, I don't really like this. I don't see the point of this so much. This guy's in a chariot. I don't know. It's fine. It's. I'm not a huge fan of. But honestly, the work is being done by the elders and the um, ancestor. I just feel like potentially this list could have had more beef, something beefier to go with it all, kind of like uh, Wilhelm's. I do like. I mean, it's a pretty. Again, this is you know you're paying 120 points to get Super Bowl decks with paired weapons for 120 points less you can have a strength nine guy that just walks around and kills one of the heroes if you really wanted but i think it goes well with the herald even though you can't fly with the herald you still get swift stride and everything you just really lose fly but you know the divination attribute or the guiding light i think really helps on the the feldrix and they're, and they're just strong so i i do like this list i just think i think points could have been spent differently like in this area and this guy's not a chariot, so you lose out on a model there. It's just, it. I mean, it should be fun. It might be really annoying for people, but, but I will say, you know, this this common magic phase you'll see of Herald plus Adept of Alchemy, I think, is just really strong for warriors. Um, I think Alchemy. There's been times where my Herald has died or something, and just taking armor and glory of gold and just casting those two spells every phase is usually good enough for for warriors that are fighting. So I like that. Do, do, do. Oh, this is the... Uh... Alright, so this is the list that I'll probably be taking to the tournament. My own tournament. Um, this is what I was talking about. I mean, you can see it's the same kind of core setup of Harold with a Chariot guy. This is what I'm talking about. The perfect core, 900 points of Lust. Um, then you have to use your extra points to get Chaff over here. And then, instead of having that slot of, like, the Chariot Lord or something like that, you basically take a Forsaken one. So here... You know, I like to think of things of, of what are the trade-offs to get different pieces. And, I don't know, in Warriors it just seems to flow so well in my head because I've played them a lot. And because you don't, unlike Orcs, when you make big changes, it doesn't really affect a lot of the rest of the list that much, right? Like, like to get to Wilhelm's lift list, you just take away this, move this in the core as Warhounds, that frees up this 245 points because that other core is perfectly 900 as well. So you get 245 points here. You add it to this. You know, 245 plus this is 300. 
35, 635, and there you go. You have points to spend. You can either drop this great weapon or paired weapon and get uh, the Ancestor. You can add a, a paired weapon here and get the Chariot guy like Wilhelm did. Thing is here, like if you do switch to that core, you are losing a war unit. So let's not let's not act like it's nothing. I mean, a war unit is an extra scoring, and, and they're pretty good if you use them correctly. Um, you could drop this and get like a, a two hundred point thing. Like if you move, if you move this to core, and you and you take and you drop a warrior unit, you basically have two hundred forty five points to play with, but. If you keep the for second one, but there's not a whole lot you can get for 245, in my opinion. There's nothing crazy going on. Um, if you drop the great weapon, sure, it's 270. Maybe you can get something. Or if you drop a paired weapon, it's a great weapon. But I think if you, I think it's like a weird spot. Like, you might as well do this and just buy a war unit. And you get four core. Anyway, this is the list I'll probably run at the, the next event. And I know Thomas gave it to him. And it, it's a good list. Um, I'm curious to see how it does. I... I yeah, Forsaken one's actually become pretty popular. There's a couple lists with them coming out. Um, there is one or two non-Herald lists. Okay, so this list. I don't know who this person is. Montenegro, I'm sh okay. I don't have immense faith in, in, in it, but we'll see. Let's see what we got. We got two wizards on, on Behemoths. A Chosen Lord with Horden on a steed okay um okay I'm, I'm getting down with it four barb horseman units and then two feldrake units so neither feldrake unit has so they can only panic each other but they're both subject to a leadership nine terror check or just dying both wizards. I like the hero's heart one, but I I think I think instead of Titanic Might, which I don't know why you really care about three strength, seven AP one. I would probably have gone plus two to cast and switch the lores, and had plus two to cast alchemy. That seems better. Uh, I don't know if you need all these barb horsemen, but I guess it's nice for the chosen lord. I mean, it's it's an interesting list. I don't necessarily think it's that great. I don't like that. There's no discipline banner, though. Maybe you can say what's going to beat them. It's a you know, it's a lot of footprint in that these guys are huge bases and these take up a lot of space. Um, but it's a cool concept having the double double lords here. Actually, is he out of eighteen hundred plus thirteen one thirty one eighty five? No, he has points left and heroes if needed. I do like the addition of the dragon staff actually. Yeah, I could see, oh, if he goes this, he can't take. Maybe it doesn't work because of the heirloom. It doesn't allow you to get the book. Anyway, it's a pretty, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a solid magic phase of two adepts with great buffs. And you know he's coming in at you. I, I do, I, I actually kind of like this concept uh, up here. I don't, you can't fit a herald anyway. It'd be cool. If, well, can you if you drop something? Can you do this in two heralds? That might be actually a pretty cool. It might be too much magic, but I don't know. I might have to look at this idea on the side. Uh, Poland, she knows. You know, finally we don't have a herald, though that didn't have a herald. Um, a flying list Chimera guy with a pretty solid setup. A Doom Lord. I think he's the only Doom Lord in the tournament. Um. A Veilwalker guy. He might be the only Sorcerer Master Occultism. I do like this Barb Chief. Solid core. You know, he, he basically takes 15 barbs instead of an extra Warhound unit, which I think is fine given he has uh, a mage that might want to hide him on, and it's Occultism, so he wants more guys to kill or sack a little bit. Shrine for even more magic. Six spells, an elder, a forsaken one, and you know, a nice forsworn unit to hold it, you know, be stubborn. I mean, it's, it's not a bad list, it has a little bit of everything, it's pretty cool. Um, I know he doesn't like the Herald and speaking to him, probably too risky. And you know, the one nice part about his list is while it has a lot of fighting pieces, it does have Veilwalker occultism, which is very strong. For a magic trick purpose, especially if you're fighting other big monsters, so maybe he can kind of, you know, 
sit there and magic you a little more if necessary. I mean, he has a war unit that could have... Well, this, you don't want the sorcerer to get charged. Never mind. I thought he might have had a, like a little bunker, but he doesn't. I'm kidding. The Chimera Lord feels a little weird in this list, but but maybe not. He's 670. He could have been... He could have been an ancestor. Slower. Like, that, that's kind of thing. Like, is he better? Oh, he can flee. Oh, the ancestor can flee, too. I guess when you don't have... He has rerolls and stuff. Ancestor doesn't. Eh, I'll be curious to see how it does. I know he doesn't like the Herald. Because he's a wuss. Benji. Oh, double Herald. There we go. This is the list. Um, I guess this core... I, this core isn't perfect, right? It's it's over core by a little bit, which is fine. I'm not here to complain if somebody goes over core by me to go over by 45 points. But um, you lose a chaff unit, but gain like a, I'll say a scoring chaff unit in that the eight men barbs can easily be sacrificed if needed. But at the same time, you don't have to. And then I guess he picks up chaff piece out here. Um. Two elders, this and battle shrine. I I don't know if you need the shrine. I don't understand the point. I like. I'd almost rather combine this into one unit and just say, because to me, if this was one, I mean, there's only so many places you can go. Every you know, you, the framework is 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 the framework. Like if these were combined into one unit for eight hundred ten points. A twenty, it would be like a big chosen knight unit that would give you seven hundred points extra or hundred points extra. I mean, but you don't, you might not need this scoring then. But again, this is nice to have the extra champion if you're going to charge your heralds. It'll do fine. I mean, obviously, all my little bitching about like I would take this instead of this. Like I don't really love this unit of four fell drakes. I do like the two herald lists. Um, there's been a decent amount of them. Not not decent. I've seen one or two pop up every tournament or so. Somebody tries it. Um, to normally medium success, I'd say. Uh, no one has really blown blown it out of the water, but I do think it's more difficult to play than they're ready for. Especially with how you choose your manifestations between the heralds. Do you join them to each other? <clears throat> how do you use them aggressively or not? Um, yeah, I mean, the magic phase, I think, is better than than you think. I used to hate on it because I felt like in a certain matchup, you'd always want to take the same two manifestations, but that just doesn't seem to be how it is in the end. Not having a third channel is nice with the battle shrine. I don't hate it. I'm curious, you know, it's another balls deep list, right? All right. What we got? What we got? No warriors. Ooh. All right. Chosen Lord on a steed with great weapon bust inscriptions. Wrath even. <clears throat> so he's a four up save, five strength seven, the strike at initiative order. Another character, right? So he has double cowboys on steeds. A wizard on Steve. It's very interesting that he took Lord of the Oh, he does have two Forsaken ones. Never mind. I thought he I thought he had one for a second. No, that's fine. That's fine. Three barbed horse units, a big Feldrake unit. Two Warhound units. Sloth Chariot. Not gonna lie, the Sloth Chariot feels weird to me in this list. It just feels like... That's a lot of points for that thing. What's the point of it? I don't know. It doesn't feel as good as the other things, right? I don't know. I mean, the scoring is going to potentially be an issue. I mean, Wizard Master Evo. It's a weird list. It's a little bit of an odd list. I could see it working. I don't know how good, like, the two cowboys are. It's nice if they can hide in units, and, you know, but at the end of the day, they're five attacks, three wounds. Um, a touch of greatness hand weapon. Guessing that's on the paired weapons given by the layout, and that's just a miss type, which I'm sure they'll fix. It's fine. Um, 
Yeah, who is who is this? What country is this? Oh, Serbia. No, I don't put much stock in Serbian lists. I like the double forsaken one with the, the Lord of the Dam. I think it's fun. All right, another double forsaken one list. Who is this guy? Sylvania. Again, no idea. Um Ooh, a Wasteland Dragon General. Porton on a Wasteland Dragon General. And Sloth. This guy's a goddamn man. All right. A Sorcerer Veil Walker. Another cultism guy. I don't... What? Excuse me? Did he just go War Dias? Destiny's Call? That seems dumb. That seems dumb because you pay 70 points to get a four board. You're on a War Dias, which already gives you... I mean, you could buy plate armor, get a two up, five up versus a th four poor. I don't know. I feel like for with plate armor and if you went plate armor, alchemist, alloy, talisman of shielding, which he doesn't use anywhere else, right? He doesn't use it anywhere else. That's fifty plus ten plus 50, like for like five points more. This guy could have a one up, five up versus a four up, four up. That just doesn't seem right. Take drop the weird stone. Who gives a fuck about that? Anyway, whatever. A, a wing chimera guy. With Thrace Forge Shieldbreaker. I do like this. I don't know if you need wings in the Barb Chief. He's moved 20, March 20. But it's a cool combo. It's a cool, annoying single model. Double Forsaken one. Oh, he has Lord of the Damned. Nice, nice. Uh, this is a pretty cool list. And he has 10 points extra. What? Do you have points for anything? He could have put, like, uh, he could put something here. He could put Luck Stone here. Oh, he has it up here. He could have put Potion of Strength on his Barb Chief. So he could... Maybe it's maxed out. It's probably maxed out items, actually. He had 10 points. He could have put something, right? There had to be something in this list he didn't put. An extra dog. Maybe. All right. Well, maybe it is kind of... A, an either icon on one of these things. Or this one. Oh, he has one either. Why don't you have another either icon? Whatever. Whatever. I don't like the guts. I mean, this is pretty cool. A dragon. I haven't thought of a dragon in a long time. It sucks that he has Porn on the dragon and he doesn't have any... Re it only rerolled a wound he gets. The problem I have with this list is he only has prelay for rerolls to wound, which is... I mean, he has double ward save, which is nice, but at the same time, like, would this guy be better as alchemy? Because then you could give the dragon a one-up save. You could... Any spell you cast would be rerolled to wounds for the dragon... for the Porn plus the dragon breath. Um... I just question whether it would be better to have alchemy or something, some form of rerolls for this dragon. Other than one, he has one spell that can do rerolls for him. And if the enemy just rolls two dice at the bound spell, he has nothing else to buff this dragon up in combat. And Porton is a nice weapon until you realize you have five strength, five attacks. And if you, if the enemy is like toughness five, you might only do a wound and then you might get saved. Um, I do like this. I really do think the Double Forsaken one uh, is pretty cool and, and has some merit to it. Spain. Does Spain have warriors? I don't think they do. Lame. Warriors here? There we go. Another warriors list. Okay. There we go. We got the Herald again. So this guy does... He's doing an Adept on Alchemy with Double Binding Troll. I don't hate... I mean, it's only 15 points, 25 points less than the Chariot version. But it's much safer um, because he's not outside of a unit. Uh, he can still tank characters being uh, one-up save with uh, one-up armor, or uh, with parry. Uh, he has two great spells. He can still go into units, honestly. You know, ap if he had... If he had uh, Hero's Heart, he could hang with the units a little bit more, but you'd have to drop a Binding Scroll for that, and I can see that he probably just wants two Binding Scrolls, because I think it's pretty important for Warriors to have one or two, because you really want to stop those really good combat buffs when you're in combat, like Lethal Strikes or something like that. Um, we've talked about how that can really screw you. I'm sure he has a Shadow Chaser guy, which I think is pretty cool. I think, you know, having a move 20 Vanguard guy with a one-up save and... and Five, four, strength, five, AP, six. Has some really nice uses. Um, I do think that guy is actually pretty cool. And I've had, I've seen this with him. I haven't used him yet. But I, I do think he has um, potential 
as just like I mean, if Warriors, a lot of single models, a lot of annoying pieces. He just he just adds to it. He's just he's just another annoying piece, right? And and maybe maybe this guy gets alchemy off the board, though he can hide in the flares to start with, or maybe they cannon him or bolt over him, or, or maybe you know who knows what they're going to do. But you have you have enough pieces to to keep going. It's like sacrificing like something's going to die to shooting, right? But if he's shooting that guy, he's not shooting your some yeah. Now I maybe and he can hide behind a lot of things. Maybe I like him a little bit more in like the single model span because then your targets are really really good. Like it's like oh you're not going to shoot my elders, you're going to shoot my little guy. But you know to some people with shooting and he has Strider. Like I really should use that model more. He seems really good. Um, you know, you move if you get first turn, you're 26 inches up the board. If somebody left a gap for you, you might be able to shoot the gap into shooting. If you can hide in the runes and things like bolt throwers become all of a sudden, they might not kill you. Um, it just you know you can you're chaff essentially, and you're not even that much more expensive. You know, you're 280 point. You don't have to take thrown weapons. You're 280 point chaff. Like that's not cheap, but you're also a single model that has a one-up save. You're not actually easy to kill either, and I think that's that's the bigger deal, is you're not easy to kill. So a lot of times, even if somebody can break you, they have to chase you. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just, of all the things, it just becomes annoying. He can actually hold things up for a while, because he does have good attacks, and he does have built-in rerolls. Um, the more I talk about him, the more I want to use him. Uh, he has a he has a warrior unit. With greed and speed, that's fine. And then he has two more big blocks. And and they're diversified in Feldrakes and Chosen Knights. He has a shrine, so he can make a pretty big either... he. I wonder if he makes the uh, the war unit big or the lust unit big, or, or maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe he can do either one, honestly. But I guess you can go wide. I mean, you lose some of the benefit of greed if you put everybody in there but it's not that expensive you want to get to min core anyway and it has options i actually kind of like this list i do think it's a little it's whatever because it it's kind of blockier because he has four blocks and no only one real single model in the herald um not as many pieces but i you know i, I like it i think it's cool do we got any more one more Last one. Art, he plays in my tournaments a lot. I don't know. I think it's the same guy. So he has a pretty tooled up Death Cheater guy with Greed. Okay. No flying, come here again. Move 20 guys, fair. He has a... He has a 4-up save. Yeah, this list is formatted pretty crappy in the beginning. A Veilwalker Alchemy guy with Destiny's Call and Heirloom. Interesting. I guess he does... I always do wonder why people do that. Like, why pay 70 points for that guy when you never want him to fight. You can go and... Where is he even going to go? I guess... All right. Mm, I don't love this list. See, this is where I'm always kind of at, like... Like, that Chosen Lord <clears throat> is really close to being a... <sighs> like, like, this is basically the same points. I can't highlight what I want. Those two characters are basically the same points as the Herald Adept on a Chariot setup. And I, I preach it because I think it's just more aggressive and more fun. But, you know, for the same points, which is almost exactly the same points, I think you need 150 and 150. It's close. It's like 20 points, within 20 points. You now get a unfighty master on foot. That's pretty good because it has Veil Walker, sure. And then you get, but you know, you, your magic phase is a five spell master with Veil Walker versus, you know, a Herald and a Depth. So you have the same two buffs you were going to take anyway. Yes, you get plus one to cast, whatever. And now you have a couple alchemy spells and three more alchemy spells. You have the H spell, which the Herald takes, and he can take Veilwalker. So if you really need the big three, I don't know. I just feel like what I'm trying to say is it feels like the other version is just a stronger version 
of this. Like you, you, you get two fighty pieces and a chariot and a herald. Your magic is pretty good, if not debatably better, with the H spell or with the with the guiding light for the heralds for the elders. I mean, other than that, it's actually pretty close. And now that looking through the rest of the list, this is pretty much what we we take. This is similar. He just put shifted some more points into this. He's a little bit above min core, which is perfectly fine. He probably had the points, and then he took this. So, I mean, if you compare this to like uh, uh, Wilhelm's list, it's basically the same shit. Core is slightly different. You know, one's eleven, eleven. He had extra points. It's fine. And then he uses those points to get. You know, he goes sorcerer this instead of Harold Harold. Or Harold Chariot guy. So again, it's fine. I, I don't know it's hard for me to not take. Because I'm gonna go through some reasoning real quick, and this is not meant to be that kind of thing. The reason I like it more is because not only do you might have a slightly stronger magic phase because of this guy, whatever. Maybe you can debate, but the you know the Herald comes with really good spells too. Um but you have to keep this guy alive, like you're essentially giving up one of your scoring units to to keep him alive. There's no, you know what I mean? Like you are kind of giving it up. In the other list, where he's a chariot, he can kind of take care of himself. Um, he can hide if needed, but you can do that. You know, if you're if it spoils and you want to have one war unit on each flank and a chosen the middle, for example, to go after the middle one, you can do that. It's a little you can do it here. It's just, I don't know. It's just a little different. You can't be as aggressive with. Your model, so it is what it is. I'm not. It's it's fine. They're both good. Um, I, I I do like the Herald better. I just think it's more of a fun piece and, and helps deal with things a lot better with its versatility. But overall, yeah, I like the Warrior list. Um, you can complain that they have a lot of the same themes to them. There's no Hellmalls. There's no Chosen on foot. There's a nice mix of Feldrake units and Chosen Knights. I think there's four Chosen Knights units even. Uh, most of the core is lust. I mean, that's that's. Uh, there's a lot more barb horsemen than I expected. A lot of heralds. A lot of there's several of the chariot guy, which I'm not surprised at. Actually, not that many, right? There's only a couple, and that's to be expected, actually, because Her- Thomas loves it, and, and the German guy has it because he copied Thomas' list, and Wilhelm has it, and I gave Wilhelm a list that had it in it, so it's not surprising that he actually kept it in. So yeah, there actually is some variety. A lot more chaos lords. I, I mean, I think. You know, we've talked about this in my videos. Uh, the harder, when it comes to warriors, and I'll say this is a good thing and a bad thing, there's just, they just fight, like, right? They have some magic and they fight. There is no weird shooting. There's not a ton of synergies to be had. They are built to be semi-independent models that kind of do their shit, right? And so when you look at it, you know, you look at a Forsaken one, Versus an elder, they are different. They're very different, being random movers and whatnot. But I don't know. In my head, it doesn't like speak to me as super different. Like this sloth chariot, right? It could be a, a hair, an elder, if you just changed around some stuff. And I'm sure it's not easy to get it in there, per se. But it could be one, and it might be better with one. But they're both just fighty pieces. One's tankier. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how else to say it. Like, it just is what it is, and that's the case. It's, it's... Yeah, I don't know. There's not really a better way to put it than, like, a lot of the Warriors' choices kind of merge together in my head, because they're just all fighty. So, uh, while I actually, looking back through the list, there are actually a good bit of variety in what people take, and whether it's a Chosen Lord, or just a Dragon Lord, there's the guy with the two double... Um, Behemoths, actually, there is a, a good bit of variety, I'd say. There's a lot of heralds, but I think, I mean, I think there's seven out of the ten or something, but one of the person's doubled. Uh, I actually like the variety. I, I do I do think the herald lists in my heart are better. I mean, Shino will probably do well, but he plays that in a much more defensive manner than, than I play Warriors, so I'm not, I'm not hating on this build. I just, it's not my style. Um, I, I, I think some of these lists have some inspired ideas that I think could be done better or improved upon. It's actually interesting to see portents, like the two or three portents that are out there. I think there's, I think, how many are there? Burning portent. There's two. There's the dragon one and the other one. I think the dragon one could have really used another lore on the master. I mean, occultism's good, but it feels like if you want to combo with 
this, and it could have had better stuff in the middle. But anyway, we're not going down that road too much. Uh, that's the Warriors Dark Gods review, and I will be doing an orc one at some point as well. Thanks for listening.